Praise the name of the Lord this morning. We welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. As we share the word of the Lord this day, you know, we shall be blessed and the Lord is speaking to us about hardening in our hearts, that we should not let our hearts be hardened, that we cannot receive them. We, can, we, we cannot receive the word of God. We cannot believe the word of God. We cannot, at least we must make our hearts receptive to the word of the Lord. Many people and the children of Israel in the wilderness, they had hardened hearts. They heard the Lord, the word of the Lord, the word as it was spoken to them, the promises of God. They heard when, as Moses was speaking to them, as was telling them the promises of God, but they had hardened hearts. And what happened? What happened? Many of them, half of them, died in the wilderness. They died in the wilderness just because of hardened hearts. It is so important that we realize as Christians that we should not allow our hearts be hardened. It is so important that we get to hear the word of the Lord so that we may enter. Our purpose is at the end of the day to be with our Lord in heaven. The most important thing that we shall rejoice and celebrate our entry in heaven with our Lord Jesus Christ. If we receive the word of God, if we believe and do not have unbelief, if we believe in the word of the Lord and do as the Lord says, because the Lord says, why call me Lord, 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 call me Lord, 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 and you do not do what I say. You do not do what I tell you to do. And now, because of unbelief, that means many will even miss out. Many will not see or enter the kingdom of heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Our Lord died. He died so that we may receive, we may receive life and have it much more abundantly. It is so important that we realize the coming of our Lord was to save us. Hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. As he was preaching, as he was healing, he wanted people to have, to believe and have faith in him so that we all may, at the end of the day, enter and not get lost. Like the children of Israel, they died in the wilderness. They were told they were not going to enter. They were not going to enter. His rest, that is canon. They could not enter because they never believed. They never took it seriously. The promises of God, and it's for us to receive and believe every word that the Lord spoke. Every word that is in this book, the Bible, every word so that we may receive the promises of God, being with him and rejoicing with him in heaven at the end of the day and bearing fruit here on earth as we live with him in, in his ways as he speaks to us in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want us to, to pray so that we may prepare ourselves to hear the word of the Lord this morning. Amen. As I feel the anointing of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. As we come to you, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Father, we pray that this word be heard, O oh Lord, that you will open up the inner ears of our hearts, O oh Father, to receive, to receive, O oh Father, that we may not have hardened hearts, O oh Father, that we may have hearts like you have said, O oh Father, hearts of flesh, that we may receive directly from you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you glory, Father. We give you honor and we give you praises for there is no other God but you, Lord. Bless us as we continue. Bless us mightily, O oh, Father God. Open the ears. Let us receive this word, O oh, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory, Father. Thank you, Father, for your, for your presence in our lives, O oh, Father. And thank you, Father, for the anointing upon us, O oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory, honor, and other praises. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen and amen. The Bible says in the book of uh, Mark chapter 3 verse 1 to 6. This is the time that Jesus went to the synagogue. Listen to this. It is very, very important that we get to understand about hardened hearts. Amen. Listen to this. Because there was nothing that w would make our Lord feel bad. Like lack of faith in him not receiving, having unbelief. He would say this 
and he will teach them and they will not receive. Many of them will not, some of them will not receive. Some of them are the Pharisees, the Sadducees are following him up everywhere. Because they could not believe that he was the son of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus heals on the Sabbath. Again, Jesus went. That's Mark chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. The Bible says, Again, Jesus went into a synagogue, and a man there whose hand was with him. The Pharisees were watching Jesus closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. The Sadducees, they were just closely by watching as the Lord was performing his miracles to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath because it was sinful. It was wrong to heal on the Sabbath according to the Sadducees, according to the law, so that they might accuse him in the Jewish high court. He said to that to the man whose hand was with him, get up and come forward. Get up and come forward. Just saying that they should have seen the faith in our Lord and the healing power that they would, they, they would not have hardened hearts. They would see and believe and because they were there to witness the doing of our Lord. He told them, get up and come forward. He asked them, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? He went to them and asked them, is it good to do, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? Which is, yeah, which is which? Is it good to do good even on Sabbath? To save a life or to kill? But they kept silent. After looking around at them with anger, grieved at the hardness, hardness and arrogance of their hearts. Listen to this. Let me read again. After looking around at them, Jesus, with anger, grieved at the hardness and arrogance of their hearts, not accepting, even believing the miracles that the Lord was doing. They had hardened hearts. You see, after looking around at them with anger, grieved at the hardness and arrogance of their hearts, he told the man, hold out your hand, hold out your hand. He wanted them to see and believe his words. Hold out your hand, and he held it out, and his hand was completely restored. A hand that was with it, a dead hand that was with it. He lifted it up, and he was healed instantly. He wanted these people, who had hardened hearts to believe and to know that he was the son of the Most High God. But these people had hardened hearts. Listen to this. Verse 6. Then the Pharisees went out and immediately began conspiring with the Herodians to plot against him as how they might fabricate some legal grounds to put him to death. For them, they wanted to put him to death for doing a miracle, or for healing a man who was sick on the Sabbath. They could not believe. They had hardened hearts. Even today, there are people, we, they have heard the word, they have seen preachers preach the word of God, they have read the Bible, and still they have hardened hearts to believe and to have faith in the word of God. The word today, the Lord is asking us, do not harden your heart when you hear the word of the Lord. Do not harden the heart, your heart. Receive Jesus Christ. Receive Jesus Christ and be born again. This is the message. This is the message that our Lord brought to us, that we may receive Jesus Christ and be saved so that we may rejoice at the end of time with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. The children of Israel had hardened hearts that 1.5 million approximately of, the, of, of them died in the wilderness. The Bible says their, their, their carcasses were scattered all over the, the wilderness because of their hardened hearts. They were murmuring and complaining and not listening to the word of God that it was preached to them by, by Moses. They all died in the wilderness. Even in the time of Jesus, you see the Sadducees, the Pharisees, they would not believe the word of God. They would not even believe the miracles that our Lord did. 
They were plotting how they would kill Jesus Christ. Even today, there are people, they do not even take, they do not even want to listen. They do not want to hear the word of God. They are just out there. Not listening and hearing and doing the word of the Lord as the Lord calls us. It is for us to receive. Otherwise, like the children of Israel who died in the wilderness, also our people will not receive Jesus Christ, will also not enter the kingdom of heaven. They will not enter the paradise as the Lord promises in his word. It is for us, for, for us, not to have hardened hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the, the Pharisees went out immediately and they began to plot against our Lord. After seeing a great miracle, what a disaster. What a disaster. Can you believe even in the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 41 to 44? After Jesus coming to this world to save us, listen to this, Luke 19 verse 41 to 42. This is what Jesus did. He would, he would even weep for Jerusalem. Weep for the people. Just seeing how they could not even understand and know the time that he has come, that he, people would receive him and have eternal life. Listen to what the Bible says. Luke 19 verse 41 to 44. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it. As he was coming to Jerusalem, he came near and he saw the city and he wept over it. He was weeping up over the people of Jerusalem, saying, if you had known, if you had known, even you especially, in this your day, the things that make that make for you for, for your peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. They are hidden from your eyes. Because we won't accept you have hardened hearts. They will not even realize who has come to save them. They will not hear the word. They would plot against him. Hallelujah. Verse 43. For days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you. Surround you and enclose you on every side. Because of their unbelief. A time is coming and the enemy will come against you. And level you and your children with you to the ground. To the ground, an enemy will come, and they will not leave in you one stone upon another, because you did not know the time of your visitation. Because you did not know the time of the visitation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was telling the, 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 the people of Jerusalem then. As he was weeping, as he was speaking, just weeping, looking down at the city and the Lord had mercy. What would happen to them? Because he knew something would happen to them that would be terrible. Now look, about the Bible say, you know, it, it, we know the, 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 the Bible history. About 40 years, 40 years after Jesus said these words, they came, these words came true. In AD 66, the Jews revolted against against Roman control. Three years later, Titus, the son of Emperor Vespasian, was sent to crush the rebellion. Roman soldiers attacked Jerusalem and broke through the northern wall, but still couldn't take the city. Finally, they laid siege to it, and in AD 70, as the Lord had said, they were able to enter, this, enter the severely weakened city and burn it. 600,000 Jews were killed during the Titus ambush. The, you can imagine that kind of attack. If they would have believed in the Lord and just move forward and get to know the coming of the Lord. See what was what the Lord spoke about. Them. It happened. It is for us, even today, the Lord is telling us, if we do not believe, if we do not believe in this, if we have hardened hearts, none of us will enter the kingdom of heaven. People hear these words and they hear about heaven, they take it for granted, not taking it seriously, not knowing it is going to happen. Soon and very soon, the Lord says, He's coming for those that believe 
in him. In the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 14 to 18, when Jesus, after he, were, he was raised from the dead, he even rebuked his own disciples. His own disciples. Even today he's rebuking us, those of us who have hardened hearts, those of us who just take things easily. We are supposed to believe and follow according to the word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table. This is after he was raised. And he rebuked their unbelief. He rebuked their unbelief and hardness of their heart. Because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. Because they had not believed when they were told that our Lord had, had risen. And he told them he had to rebuke their unbelief. When they hear something like that, when they heard that our Lord has risen, as he had promised, they were not supposed to harden their heart. They were supposed to rejoice and to know that the Lord has defeated death and the grave. Now he has risen. But their unbelief, our Lord, the Bible tells us, he came and he rebuked them, his own disciples. And he said to them, verse 15, and he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go, that's where we are preaching the word. Go, even you as you listen. You go out there and preach the word to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. That is our job. He who believes and baptized, yes, shall be saved. Shall be saved. He came to save us. But he who does not believe will be condemned. He's already condemned. Who does not believe? Who has a hardened heart is already condemned according to the word of God. It is for us to believe. Otherwise, you are condemned, says the word. And this sign shall follow those who believe. All of us that believe, all of us who do not have hardened hearts, all this sign shall believe, this sign shall follow them who believe. In my name, says the Lord, Griba Saka. In my name, they will cast out demons. We shall cast out demons in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hallelujah. They'll speak with new tongues. They'll speak with new tongues. In the name of Riba Saka Rabba Babu Sika Yabasanta. In the name of Jesus, they'll speak in tongues. They will take up serpents. Riba Saka, you see the power? The power of receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The power of being saved that we shall they will take up serpents and if they drink anything deadly, it will not, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick. We shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Riba Saka. See the power of salvation. We shall lay hands on the sick and they will they, they, they will they will recover. They will stick up serpents with their hands and they will drink. And if they drink anything deadly, anything deadly, any way, anything deadly that you drink, it will by no means hurt, hurt you. Because you're saved. You believe in the Lord. That's the power of salvation. And after all this, we'll have his presence with us in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, that's why he rebuked them to receive and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. That's what we are talking about today. Yes, do not harden your hearts. Do not. Yes, receive Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 13 verse 22 to 30 about the narrow way. Yes, not many people would, would want, people want to do the things of this world. They want to live in a, according to the world the way it is. But there's a narrow way, the Lord is saying, which he calls us to, move, to, 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 to go through so that we may enter. And that is salvation. Listen to what he said. And he went through the cities and villages teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, strive to enter through the narrow gate. Yes, not a few. This is the narrow gate. It's for you to receive and believe. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Yeah, that time has come. Many will try to enter and they will not be able. 
when, when once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you being begin to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord. He starts saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you. I do not know you. Because he did not receive Jesus Christ. He will say, I do not know you. And if you received him and you have you had a hardened heart, you start you like his some of his disciples did. Yes, you should not have a hardened heart. I do not know you where where you are where you are from. Then you will you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence. Yes, and you taught. Uh, and you taught in, in, in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know you. I do not know you. Why will he say, I do not know you? Because you hardened your heart to receive the Lord. Yes, you do not believe. Hallelujah. I tell you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. All you workers of inner sins, iniquity, sins. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves thrust out. When you see the, the, the prophets, when you see Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourself not there but thrust out. What a disaster. They will come from the east and the west, from the north and the south. People will come from all directions and sit down in the kingdom of God because they believed. And those who have hardened hearts, those who did not receive him, will be thrusted out. They will be thrust out. And indeed, there are, there are last who will be first, and there are first who will be last. Yes, some will come and they will behave as if they believe and they, they, they do not. They believe in themselves and they have hardened their hearts and they will be thrust out. They will not be among them, the, the, the rest and the many that will enter because they believe. It is for us to believe. It is for us to receive Jesus Christ and do not allow any hardened heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch, the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, 13 to 14. Watch, stand fast in the faith. It is for us to watch and stand fast in the faith, believing and trusting in the word of God, believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ. Be brave and be strong. No cowards will enter heaven. Be brave, hallelujah. Be brave. Let all that you do be done with love. Do, you know, everything be done with love, believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ. Those are the ones that will enter. Those are the ones that will pick up something and they will not be harmed. Those are the ones that will lay hands on the sick and they'll receive, they'll receive, they'll receive healing. Those are the ones that will pray for the, for, 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 for the sinners and they will receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If you are there and you don't know Jesus Christ, do not harden your heart today. When you hear this word, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It is time that you receive, the, 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 you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Praise the name of the Lord. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 26 to 27 says, the, the Lord, hear what the Lord says. If you have a hardened heart, if you have a hardened heart, if you do not believe in the Lord, if you do not Take this matter seriously. Listen to the Lord, what he says. Ezekiel 6, verse 26 to 27. Listen to what the Lord says. I will give you a new heart. The Lord will give you a new heart. If you have a hardened heart, the Lord, yes, ask the Lord to give you a, a new heart. A new heart. And put a new spirit within you. He'll pour the spirit of God in you. And he'll give you a new heart. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart and give you a heart of flesh i'll take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh that heart of stone that hardened heart the lord will take it out and give you a heart of flesh i will put my spirit within you 
He will put his spirit within us and cause you to walk in my statutes and he will cause us to walk in his ways. It is for us to ask the Lord to put a new heart in us that we may believe and seek his ways and walk in his ways, says the Lord. And you will keep my judgments and do them. And then we shall walk in his ways. What he says we do, and then he will not ask us. Why call us? Why call me Lord, Lord, Lord? And you do not do the things that I tell you. Why call me Lord? And you do your own things. Why should we call the Lord? Oh Lord, Lord. And we do our own things. We do not believe him. We do not trust in him. Why call him Lord, Lord? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you will you will keep my judgments and do them. Says the Lord. He's a merciful God. He's a wonderful God. He's an awesome God that will give us a heart of flesh. Not a heart as hard as a stone. No wonder he promised all this for us. So that we may receive him and do miracles. The same things he said that he's go we're going to do when we receive salvation. It is for us to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. We must continue with this psalm. We must continue in this word that we should not allow our, heart, our hearts to be hardened. We must have a heart of flesh that receives the heart that the Lord gives us. And like he says, that I will put my spirit within you. He will put his spirit within us and cause us to walk in his ways, his statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. And then we shall do according to his ways. Praise the name of the Lord. What a wonderful God we serve. What a awesome God we serve. He wants us with him at the end of time. He wants us, he wants to gather us all. All those who have a soft heart, a heart that receives him, that he will gather us and take us with him to heaven at the end of the day. Do not let your heart be hard. As we continue this song, someone, tune in next time. Tune in next week so that we may hear as we continue. As we continue, it's a powerful sound that we may not harden our hearts, that we may do miracles, signs and wonders shall follow us. In the name of Jesus Christ, because we believe in Him, the miracle of our Lord, Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May you continue in His ways and call Him Lord because you do. May the Lord bless you and bless you mightily in Jesus' name this morning. Thank you for being with us. May the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Amen. Thank you.